So a lot of people have been asking me recently why so many things are out of stock with Thrive Life and when they'll be back in stock again. So we want to talk about that in this video. Yeah. Well, hey everybody, I'm Bill. And I'm Elizabeth. Live simple. Live free. Yes. I forgot my line for a second. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you've been shopping on our Thrive Life website recently, you'll notice that there are a lot more things out of stock than usual. And a lot of people are asking about that. Well, and for anybody that doesn't know what we're talking about, um, Thrive Life are, are, is like premium freeze-dried foods um, that we have really enjoyed for many years, mm -hmm. um, and um, we're glad to make available. You know, we are distributors. There's a link in the description below. Um, but we also have a playlist of why we use Thrive and a lot of different recipes. So just in case you have no idea what we're talking about. This month has been unbelievable. Thrive has been absolutely slammed with orders and the sales that have come in were considerably higher than the projected sales for the month. Yeah. And every uh, uh, freeze-dried company is dealing with the same thing. I just got a, a comment from someone, from a woman who was saying that she was using, uh, what was it? It's August and Farms? No, Honeyville. Oh. She was Honeyville. using Honeyville. Okay. And they got so low on inventory that she couldn't buy there anymore. So then she went to Augustin Farms. And I don't know if you heard about it, but a week ago or so, Augustin Farms put out a, a news statement saying that they were shutting down operations and not taking any orders for the next 90 days because they can't get any inventory. Yeah. And so other others are dealing with the same thing. And I mean, you know, like I've talked before, so is Walmart and Kroger. They just can't keep their shelves full. Yeah, there's still gaps in things. So yeah. Thrive definitely has some shortages on their shelves. But here's the thing. Here's what makes Thrive different from all the others. Thrive is the only freeze-dried food company that actually owns their own freeze dryers. Yes. Which gives them control over quality control. So that's the, we have the best quality food and also the production schedule. All the other companies, when they uh, start to get low on the shelves... They have to contact their supplier, whoever that is, to have the freeze the food freeze dried for them, and they are stuck waiting on those other that other company to do the freeze drying for them. Thrive Life can just schedule it right into their own um, production schedule, which is really cool. Well, and and um, they have added more freeze dryers. Yeah. They're going to be adding more. They've also really increased their staff of people who are looking for the best quality food all over the place that they can get their hands on. There's like a 40-point a process. Um, it's like the point lock. Um, the neutral lock. Neutral lock. The neutral lock promise. Pro promise. Yeah. And so this food has to go through 40 different things to be considered the right quality. And um, so they can maintain real consistent quality in the food. And they've got people that are just... A, a whole new group of people that are looking for mm. sources of the good food and then making sure that they've got, oh, bye Leo, uh, that they have the capacity of freeze dryers to be able to really keep production going. Yep. If um, you uh, so. saw the video I did about a month ago, I was in Utah about a month ago and I did a video about the new freeze dryers that they're installing. These things are huge. They're multi-million dollar machines and each one is the size of a school bus. They had four working. They just installed two more that hopefully be working by the end of the month. They just in, uh, ordered six more that will be in production by, hopefully by this time next year. So they, and they have like tripled their staff in the past few months. Yes. So they're ramping everything up. And if any freeze dry company is going to survive all the shortages, Thrive is the one that's going to survive it. Because we have control of our entire um, uh, Supply chain yes. and production chain the only, ourselves. The only thing Thrive Life's not doing is actually growing the food. But from the time that food is grown, Thrive Life works from the harvest mm -hmm. through the freeze drying, all this process, so that they, um, you know, have their own their own chain going on here. Right. Um, and you know, I mean, we have to realize there's supply issues going on all over the place. Uh, it took Thrive for, forever to get these freeze dryers in, which I'm glad they did at this time because of of the not being able to get stuff unloaded mm -hmm. uh, off the docks, yeah. you know, and um, so we just we just want people to know that yes, there are some things that are running low now because the supply the demand has been extreme, but um, Thrive Life has no intention of having to go on a moratorium or shut down for a while. They're working very hard to try to get all these things uh, available again. 
Um, and so, you know, we wish the best for all in Frogs and Farms. I and mean, this has got to be really rough yeah. um, to suddenly have to close things down for like three months until you can get yourself back in, in inventory again. Um, but we're just, we're grateful to know that, um, that just with Thrive Life, if you're looking for food there, they don't have to go to someone else to freeze dry it. And so uh, m much more likely, especially with the new freeze dryers and stuff, that they're going to be able to get supply back up again. Right. So. Also, they contract directly with the farmers. Yes. So they don't go through a middle man to actually purchase the food. So that's, the, that's one more step that they've eliminated from their supply chain. Which is also good for <coughs> quality, as well as the fact that they're right, right there from the time that food's harvested, it's in their hands. Right. And, and it's frozen within like 48 hours of being picked. So it locks in all the nutrients and all that. Yeah. And that can only be done if you d deal directly with the farmers. Yeah. So so anyway, are we, do we have some empty shelves? Are there some out-of-stock items? Yes. Yes, as you can see if you've been there, yes. <coughs> Thrive is very, working very hard, especially to for the, the most popular items to get them back in stock. Yes. The demand is so high that they'll make a production run of a particular item and put it on the shelves and it's gone in three or four days. It's mind-boggling. But so just I'm just asking that you be patient with Thrive and know that they're working as hard as they can to get things in stock. Oh, another thing. Some people will say everything that I wanted isn't in stock, so I can't buy anything. There's two different purposes for Thrive. One is for daily use and the other is for long term storage. It's great for both. But in this particular time of shortages, if you're looking for daily use and you want green beans and it's not there, then you're not going to buy anything. But if you're thinking about long-term storage, then if green beans are not there, then you go find something else that is there that you can add to your long-term storage. Right, just the food to fall back on when things get hard. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, it'll be it'll be good in that can for 25 years. So, um, yeah, it just you know think about what would I want to have around if all of a sudden you know that's something I can't find at Walmart anymore. Right. You know, um, and so. Yeah, it and they'll get those green beans back as quick as they can. Well, that's just an example. They're, they they know what people are really going after now, and they're trying to get those back as quick as as quickly yeah. as they can. So, so I hope yeah. that explains a little bit yeah. about what's going on, and I hope it assures you that Thrive isn't going anywhere. There might be some rocky times again uh, ahead. There might be some short uh, supply of a few things, but Thrive is not going anywhere. As long as food is available, Thrive will be there. Yeah, because yeah. they own their own production. And we truly wish the best for all the different companies, yeah. you know, to be able to get through this time and be really back on their feet again. So, you know, uh, something that a friend of ours says, you know, a rising tide lifts all ships. And we just want things to get better for everybody. So, yeah. all righty. Thanks for watching. Yep, yeah, just this quick little thing we wanted to put out there so that um, it lets you know kind of what's going on because some people have been pretty concerned. Right. Well, oh, live simple. Live free. <laughs> now you forgot your line. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget your line. Be blessed. Yes, and we mean that. Be blessed. All right, we love you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.